So the brain really prefers familiarity. Change, novelty, newness in life is, is generally perceived by the brain as a threat first. Typically people will choose what's familiar uh, whether it's a domestic violent relationship and I continue to go to somebody that is hurtful in my relationship or you know, I continue to choose these unhealthy ways of dealing with life. Um, it's generally because that's what the brain is comfortable with and familiar with and so the idea of trying something new is, is scary and so usually people kind of avoid those types of things and so it's very helpful I think for us as clinicians to understand this, that's really not about people being bad people. It's just that our brain tends to uh, go to what's familiar than to what is necessarily good. Uh, so people, I know, sometimes get confused about why would a, con a person continue to engage in substance use or drugs when we know how bad it is. Um, and, and, and this concept really kind of helps us illustrate why people continue to go things that that are bad for them. I think bringing things to light in therapy and being able to highlight uh, some of these patterns of self-defeating behavior is usually the first step. And then working with the client to figure out how they can feel safe to try something that is different and, and healthier is the, is the next step. And then maybe what kind of supports are needed outside of the therapy office um, that will help them achieve those goals and, and achieve those results of, of trying something uh, new. And then, you know, the repetition of doing things that are healthy for them, the more and more we do them, uh, the more familiar it becomes for our brain and the more likely we will continue to be successful at, at healthy coping. Some of the uh, struggles with change has to do with the fact that we are not doing things enough. Uh, we are not practicing these coping skills enough. And so we typically will revert back to old habits. Um, and, and so that is a particular challenge in, in any of the work that we do, um, whether it's mental health or addiction.